Justin Brown, man. Justin Brown, man. Justin Brown, man. Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, yo, what's going on at the fight? Well, it's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on two women that's bringing women boxing back. A three-division world champion in, in, in Clarissa Shield, a two-division world champion in Kate Teller, a two-time gold medalist, and a one-time gold medalist. And they both has been undisputed in this women boxing game, dog. Now, the new ranking has came out, you know, for the pound for pound female women. Katie Teller has jumped Clarissa Shield. You understand? She has jumped Clarissa Shield. Now Katie is the number one, you know, pound for pound female fighter in the whole world. You understand? And, you know, I don't think that sit well with Clarissa. You know what I mean? Because she said, you know, talking to the Marine Magazine, when I was pound for pound number one, y'all had an art article, had a pick of me and Cecilia together. But now Katie Teller is number one. Y'all have just a pick of her by herself. Stop playing favors, okay? Sincerely quote. And as you see Katie come out and say, it's great to be considered a pound for pound number one, and it's a very satisfying way to end the year. She say, there are so many great fights and challenges out there for me, and I'm so excited about what's to come, you know? And Clarissa come back and say, you know, no jealousy on my part. We will be switching places again when I get my fights figured out. So congrats, you feel me? Congrats, looking ass, you know what I mean? But um, do Clarissa have a point? You know what I'm saying? Do she have a point, dog? You know, we all know she put the work in. We all know she three division world champion. We all know she undisputed world champion. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, her and Katie is bringing the women's sports back, well, boxing back to the to the center of, of attention. You know, and Clarissa with only ten fights, she did great, man. She not did. She's doing great. She's doing very great. And everybody a fan of Clarissa, we know she getting paid the, the, the most money out of, out of the females, in my opinion. I know Katie getting a couple of dollars as well, you know. But when we talking about pound for pound, you know, Clarissa was number one. She was number one. And I really didn't really see anything for her to lose a spot. But, you know, inactivity can do that to you. You know what I mean? When you're not fighting and you sit on the sideline and you got Katie going out there doing her thing, you know, sometimes that can happen. But one thing we know about Clarissa, she want to fight everybody. She want to fight the best. She's an animal. She's a dog. She don't back down from nothing. You feel me? She don't back down from nothing. She's been trying to get Cecilia, you know. And we know Katie Teller. Man, I love Katie, dog. Katie is one of my favorite fighters in the whole wide world. Her and Clarissa, you know, I watch all Katie fights. She just got a victory um, this past Saturday. You know what I mean? And I'm not fit to hate on her being number one pound for pound. I'm not going to hate, you know, because Katie put the work in as well. She put the work in as well. And she she beat the woman that beat the woman who was undisputed, you know, for the, the longest reigning undisputed woman and Cecilia Brackers. You know, Katie beat Jessica McCaskill who beat Cecilia Brackers, you know what I mean, and took her undisputed crown. You know, so that's saying a lot about Katie. A lot of people keep talking about Katie lost to um, Pursun. I thought she won the first fight. I thought she won the second fight, you know. That's just me. Close fights. Close fights like hell. Pursun can fight the ass off. But I do think Katie got the, I do think Katie won those fights, you know what I'm saying. But with that being said, you know, you got to respect Katie Teller, dog. I can't take nothing away from her. You know, she a hard-ass worker just like this woman right here, Clarissa Shields. But I will say this. I, I do think Clarissa will jump back to the number one pound for pound. Um, woman in the world when she gets back because I think she has the bigger fights. I think Katie do have big fights with Amanda Serrano out there. You know, Clarissa got Samantha Marshall, you know, but the thing was, could she go to 147 and fight Cecilia Brackers? That was the question for Clarissa Shield. But now will Clarissa Shield be able to go down to 147 and face Jessica McCaskill, you know what I mean, who took the scraps and, and, and the title away from Cecilia Brackers? So it's going to be interesting to see how these fights go with Clarissa because, you know, she she moving down where, you know, how people move up. You know, she went from 68 to 60 to 54. Now we're trying to see if she's going to go to 47, which can be a little dangerous. You know what I mean? It can be a little dangerous because you can't keep jumping down all those weights and, and you know, maintaining the speed and, and the power. She's not that strong, but, you know, you know what I'm saying, the little power she do got. You feel me? Whereas Katie, Katie is going up. You know, Katie is going up. She's not going down. You know, and like I say, the, the fight with Katie, in my opinion, will be Amanda Serrano, dog. You know what I mean? 
And I know Amanda is a, a little bigger, but I think Katie good enough to adjust or to go up another weight class because she only got two um, divisions. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see if they, if they can come to fruition, Katie and Amanda, because it, it, it was supposed to be on the table. We all know um, Katie whooped um, Cindy Serrano as Amanda's sister, and I like Cindy. Cool chick. You know, but the fight is Katie and Amanda Serrano, dog. You feel me? That shit is going to be fireworks. Fireworks. You know, Amanda is a sixth division world champion, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? And her and Katie, dog, listen, when I tell you that's one of the best fights you can make in all of boxing, even with the, the man and female, listen, that shit is going to be so fucking good, yo. So damn good because we know Amanda is a, is a monster, man. That Puerto Rican queen is a monster. And like I said, this Irish queen and Katie Teller is a monster. I'm a, I'm a super fan of Katie Teller. You feel me? But who wins that fight? That's a 50-50, dog. That's a 50-50, you know. But back to Clarissa and Katie. The thing about these two women that I like the most, that they bring in boxing back. You feel me? The only thing about it is they are not in the same weight class where they can meet up and fight each other. Could you imagine if Katie Teller could make welterweight or she can make 154 pounds? Oh, man, her versus Clarissa Shields? That is the fight, dog. That is the fight. We all know Clarissa talk about coming back fighting Lady Ali and things of that nature. But if Katie Teller was able to be in a weight class that could um, challenge Clarissa, come on, man. Come on, man. Quit playing. What that'll do for women boxing? Man, I'm talking about that could be a pay-per-view fight. You know, Clarissa Shield versus Katie Taylor, if they was in the same weight division, could be a goddamn pay-per-view fight. And I would pay for it. I would pay for it. You feel me? But over this undies, I mean, the um, not undies, I'm sorry. Over this, the, the, the pound for pound queen, you know, like I say, I'm not pissed off that Katie got it right now, you know. But I do feel like Clarissa should still be the number one pound for pound fighter. I feel like that, cause I, I don't think nothing happened for her to lose her title, you know. But we could say inactivity, you know, which is a big thing. You got to stay busy and things of that nature, out of sight, out of mind. You know what I'm saying? But still, three division world champion, fucking um, undisputed world champion. I think she should have still held her title. Just me, family. I think she should still be considered the, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world or 1A, 1B, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think neither should be number two, you know? Because they, they both that good, man. They both that good. But like I say, I'm not gonna be pissed off that Katie is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world because her skill set is amazing as well. You know, when she get into that ring, Katie ass, she, she outboxes the shit out you. But we have seen her very vulnerable. We have seen her very vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? To what we can say, like I say, some people thought she lost to Pursuum twice. Twice. You understand me? You haven't seen the fight where you can say, oh, we thought Clarissa Shield lost that fight. You know what I'm saying? We know she got put down on the ass by Gabriel, but she got back up and won it. You feel me? She got back up and won it. You know? Um, Katie, she got to slow down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Katie get caught back up in an amateur style of fighting. Or she just letting her hands go. But you can't, you're not outpointing them, Katie. You got to be smarter. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, y'all know how the Olympics go. I mean, sorry, not the Olympics. Y'all know how the amateurs go. You feel me? You, it's a fast pace. You you, you just bang it, bang it, bang it with the head gear and things like that. Sometimes Katie be alluded back to the amateur style. And she got to get a little bit more professional. And, and remember, you know, this is not the amateurs, baby. And, and, and I know she know that because, like I say, um, undisputed two division, you catching on quick. But sometimes she get in there and she lack her defense a little bit and she just get to swinging for no reason. Unnecessary punches, in my opinion. Unnecessary punches. You know, when you got somebody like Pursum who's more seasoned, you know, and they, and they jabbing your ass and going out there banging it with you as well. You know, but respect to Katie Teller, man. Respect to her because she is putting in the work. She fought twice in 2020, you know, and she's been in the people's face, dog. You know, I ain't gonna lie, Eddie Hearn keeping her active. His ass is keeping her active, man. And you know, the Irish people, they ride for one another. They ride for one another. 
and they love Katie. Hell, I love Katie, like I say, you know? So I'm not gonna knock the woman for putting in the hard work and, and seeing it pay off. You feel me, seeing it pay off. But I do feel like Clarissa Shields should've still held her spot, you know? And I think once she get back into the ring and once she pick the, the top opponents and go out there and show up and show out, I think she will get her spot back. You know what I'm saying? I think she will get her spot back. But Katie, one hell of a fighter, dog. If she get that Amanda Serrano fight and she end up beating Amanda Serrano, then she will stay number one. Cause, Cause that's one hell of an accolade, dog. That's to be the Amanda Serrano, a sixth division world champion, dog. To be her and put her on your resume, that's big dog shit. You hear me? That's big dog shit. And, and, and that's something nobody can take away. Nobody. You understand me? Nobody. You know? But Clarissa, she got some good fights up there for her. If she get this late Ali fight, you know, which I really ain't too big on it, but that'll be a, a money grab. That'll be a money fight. You know what I'm saying? But when she get to focusing on legacy, you know, Hannah Gabriel right there for the rematch. And you'll have a few more fighters that's up and coming, especially the Samantha Marshall fight. I mean, sorry, the Savannah Marshall. I'm sorry. Why well, keep calling Savannah Samantha? Y'all know I'm tripping. Come on now, y'all. Say something. Tell me. You know, Savannah Marshall. You know, that's going to be one hell of a fight, dog. Because Savannah looked so damn good in her last fight. And she getting better and better. You feel me? Her and Clarissa, that shit going to be fireworks. You feel me? But I'm going to wrap it up on this, y'all. Katie Teller, Clarissa Shell, two of the hottest, if not the two hottest women in boxing. You feel me? Along with Amanda Serrano, uh, Michaela Myers, and, and plenty more up-and-coming women. You know, Terry Hopper, I like her a lot. But Katie Teller, um, Clarissa Shell, they is putting on for, for female boxing, dog. They is putting on for female boxing, and they help bringing it back. They help bringing it back, you know? So female boxing is on fire because of these two women, you know? Shouts out to Katie Teller for being the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Shouts out to Clarissa Shell for acknowledging it, you know? But she won a spot back, and that's the competitive nature of the sport, man. You feel me? But these two women are doing great things for boxing, dog. And, you know, they are the ones that you got to catch up to. All the women in boxing got to catch up to what Clarissa and Katie doing. And they trying to chase greatness. You feel me? They trying to chase greatness. So salute to them. Much love and respect. And I wish them both nothing but the best. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving on everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Bonnie on Cash App. Trayhop52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, just tell a friend and tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know what it is. Big dog status. I-K-A-Y, man. I swear to God, I'm going to kill all y'all.